Water is disappearing. Huge amounts of water is dragged into Earth's interior and trillions of tons of water is going into our Earth. Scientists say that water is becoming trapped in rocks at the subduction zones at uh, plate as the plates are traveling and it becomes uh, it, it enters the area and it can be pulled more than 60 miles into the Earth's mantle, according to what researchers have recently found. They say every million years, Earth drags 3 billion teragrams of water into its, its interior. Every million years, 3 billion teragrams. Cheyenne McDonald, Daily Mail, reports this. So it's a huge amount, a staggering amount of water that's being pulled into Earth's interior because of tectonic activity. And scientists are not sure where all this goes to. Where is it uh, being directed to? A new study using ocean bottom seismographs across the Mariana Trench in the uh, Pacific Ocean found that Earth's subduction zone drags down roughly three times more water than they had previously thought. And according to their new calculations, the phenomenon is about uh, amounts to three billion teragrams of water every million years, one teragram alone equaling a billion kilograms, according to live science. People knew that subduction zones could bring down water, but they did not know how much water, according to the lead author Chen Chai, he's from Washington University. In his new study published in the journal Nature, the researchers used the data from over a year's worth of uh, earthquakes and tremors collected by 19 passive seismographs across the Mariana Trench. And they also looked at data from seven island-based seismographs and allowed them for a more detailed picture of how the Pacific Plate bends into the trench and it reveals new insight on how the rocks hold onto water deep beneath the surface. Candace Major, the program director of the National Science Foundation's Division of Ocean Sciences says, this research shows that subduction zones move far more water into Earth's deep interior. They move water many miles below the surface than previously thought. The results highlight the important role of subduction zones in Earth's water cycle. According to this team, the extreme pressure and the temperature conditions cause the water to become trapped in the rocks as a plate travels down into the crust and upper mantle along the fault lines. So it's not, it, was, it was known that the subduction plate could hold water. Researchers did not have a clear picture, though, of how much water this amounts to or how deep the water goes. Previous estimates vary widely in the amount of water that's been subducted is the subduction deeper than 60 miles? This is um, what Doug Waynes and uh, the Robert S. Brookings Distinguished Professor in Earth Planetary Sciences said, the main source of uncertainty in these calculations was the initial water content of the subducting uppermost mantle. The researcher said that the new method is far more precise. Seismic images show the area of the hydrated rock at the Mariana Trench extends 20 miles beneath the seafloor and with that comes a lot of water locked in there. Previous convections were based on active source studies which can only show the top three to four miles into the incoming plate. They could not be very precise about how thick it was or how hydrated it was and uh, Chai said that our study tried to constrain it if water can penetrate deeper into the plate it can stay there and be brought down to deeper depths. At the Mariana, Mariana Trench, the researchers estimate four times more water is dragged to the interior than previously thought. Four times more. Now, what is the Mariana Trench? It's the deepest part of the world's oceans located in the Western Pacific Ocean. It's near Papua New Guinea in the Philippines. To the east of the Mariana Islands, the trench is 1,580 miles long, but has an average width of only 43 miles. The distance between the surface of the ocean and the trench deepest point, the Challenger Deep, is nearly 7 miles. Director James Cameron became the first solo diver to reach the bottom of the Challenger Deep 
in 2012. On a global scale, they say it works out to be three times more water than the scientists originally thought. So where is all this water going to, and how deep does it go? And does it ever come out? That's my question. Now, if other old, cold, subducting slabs contain similarly thick layers of hydrous, uh, water-filled rocks, hydrous mantle, then estimates of the global water flux into the mantle at deeper depths than 60 miles must be increased by a factor of about three. So it could be like 180 miles, 200 miles down, according to Weens. Now, what exactly happens to the water after it's pulled down into the trench is a mystery. It's thought that most of it returns to the atmosphere as water vapor through volcanic eruptions. But, uh, yeah, well, because we have steaming, we have steaming through the volcanoes, but new estimates suggest more water is being pulled into the interior than volcanic eruptions uh, bringing the water back out again. Now, the estimates of water coming back out through the volcanic arcs are probably very uncertain, Wien said. This study will probably cause some revaluation. So that's uh, really astonishing, isn't it? Uh, there is uh, three times more water going deeper down than they thought, and it could be going down three times uh, deeper than they thought. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.